question, I uh, use the term isolation stations. That was the phrase uh, or term we used in our committee. And what we were talking about there was, in, in, separate from compressor stations, where these pipelines come to the surface for monitoring or servicing or the things where you see these little fenced off stations out in the countryside uh, that, that are part parcel of a pipeline. So the question then is what questions are, what is the distance between these isolation stations and how will they be maintained? Uh, will there be chances that, uh, that one of these, or more I guess, would be placed close to or on residential property? And if so, if placed on residential property, how will this affect the residents? on uh, a study that includes the final location of the pipeline and the density, uh, population density along that pipeline. So the federal code requires various spacing between those valves based on the general uh, population in the area. So there's no... More density populators plus the so, Yes, sir. That's right. And uh, Mark is going to address uh, a couple of those. You know, and one thing I'd like to add again about, or add about the Just to ask, uh, is there a station then that just monitor the pipeline? And then are there stations where the pipeline actually comes out of the surface or there's an access point to the actual pipeline? The only time you'll see pipes come out of the surface is at compressor station or a meter station. Yes. Now, the main line valve sites, you can see some piping on above ground, but that is just the operator piping for the main line valve. The valve itself monitoring is above ground. Monitoring piping? Yes. Well, it's not monitoring piping. Control. It's, it's control. It's part of control. Thank you for that clarification. <clears throat> 